It's a story that began in Africa, a chance meeting between a local doctor and a young boy with a devastating injury. But few could predict efforts to help him would end up changing the lives of everyone he met. Tonight, NBC5's Warner Saunders introduces us to a boy named Gift. He seems to be just a typical 10-year-old kid. A young boy full of fun and energy who can't wait to take a spin on his bike and who runs with the enthusiasm of an Olympic hopeful. But Gift Benoit has already been on a long journey, one that began with a chance meeting with an Oak Park doctor half a world away. In November of 2005, my husband and I were invited to Africa. Physician Lisa Thornton was on a working vacation in Zambia, conducting makeshift health clinics when she spotted a child in the crowd. I saw a little boy with a significantly deformed face, and I asked about him. I said, what happened to this little boy? That little boy was Gift. The tin roof of his family's hut crashed down on him during a severe storm, leaving his young face horribly scarred. So I suggested at that moment that we should bring him here and do some surgery that he really needed. When we were in Africa, it all just seemed so possible, and then I got home. Back in Chicago, Thornton had trouble lining up a hospital to do the surgeries. Ultimately, Mount Sinai, where she's on staff, offered her whatever she needed free of charge. Plastic surgeons volunteered their time. Once we got the hospital and the doctors on board, the next step was to get Gift here. Gift and his father arrived the summer of 2007, two years after his first meeting with Dr. Lisa Thornton. One of the Thornton's gifts to Gift was to share their home for as long as it took to get the little boy healthy again. Four intensive surgeries followed. It was a long-term process that required Gift to remain in the United States for a year. So the Thorntons thought it best to enroll him in school. He was very excited. School is very important to children in Africa. He started third grade at Oak Park's Holmes Elementary School, knowing little or no English. At the beginning of the school year, it was very hard for him. He was very shy, and so he would wear a jacket with a hood and pull the hood up over his head and kind of walk hunched down and try to be as invisible as possible. Well, I know is bigger. But as Gift was adjusting to his new community, devastating news. His father was going back to Zambia without him because of immigration issues. Giff would have to stay behind with the Thorntons to complete his medical care. The only day that I have seen Gift cry was the day that his father had to go back to Zambia. It was a tough situation, one made easier, however, by his third grade classmates who had instantly embraced him. They've been wonderful to him, wonderful. In fact, if we have a problem, it's because they want to do maybe a little bit too much for him. It's hard to tell how he's going to adjust when he goes home. So I think it's going to be a very interesting experience for him. He has become an American child. The gift is scheduled to return to Zambia in a few weeks, an event that will be bittersweet for the Thornton family and the home school community. Gift has been a gift to us. It's really amazing. You think that you're doing something for someone else and they end up touching your life in such an important way. Warner Saunders, NBC5 News. Once he returns home, Gift's only opportunity for an education is at a private boarding school in Zambia. Holmes Elementary School in Oak Park has started a fund to raise money for his tuition. For more information, you can go to our website, NBC5.com. Beautiful story. I know, and what a great name. You mentioned as we were going yeah. into it, what a wonderful name, Indeed. because he has become such a gift. And so many people benefited from what was done for him here. No question about it. We'll be missed. He'll be missed, I'm sure.